Hi Bobcats, this is Miss Lee, and you've just got done watching the video for representations for division, and now it's time to work on some practice problems. There are three practice problems, and all three of them are in your notes. So make sure to show whatever work is needed in your notes. And here we go. Practice problem number one. Amber calculates that one-third of the students in her fourth period math class are wearing flip-flops. Which best represents the part of her class that is wearing flip-flops? So go ahead and work the problem. Pause the video. You're going to work the problem in your notes. Select your answer choice. And then come back and check. Okay, the correct answer is C, three-tenths repeating. If you got the correct answer, great job. You can move on to practice problem number two. If you did not get the answer correct, then I'd like for you to go ahead and pause the video and take a look at the work that is shown and see if you can find where your mistake is before moving to practice problem number two. Okay, practice problem number two. The six, six members of the Arnold family calculate the family's daily water to use to be 38 gallons. Which equation best shows the average amount of water each person uses daily? So remember, there are six members and their water usage is 30, their total water usage is 38 gallons. But go ahead and pause the video, work the problem in your notes, select your answer choice, and come back and check. The correct answer is G, 38 divided by 6 equals 6 and 1 third. Did you get it right? If so, go ahead and move on to the third practice problem. If not, pause the video and take a look at the, at the work that is shown for each answer choice to see if you can determine where your mistake was before you move on to practice problem 3. Okay, our last practice problem. Yesterday, 15 out of 20 students attended choir practice, which does not represent the part of students who attended the choir practice. So 15 out of 20, which answer choice does not represent 15 out of 20? Go ahead and pause the video, work the problem in your notes, select your answer, and come back to see if you were correct. The correct answer is H. And when I say correct answer, I mean this is the one that does not represent 15 out of 20. All of the other answer choices do represent 15 out of 20. If you got the correct answer, great job, you're done. If you got it wrong, go ahead and pause the video, take a look at the work, see if you can find out where your mistake is. Good job, Bobcats.